From a venue that's been sold out since it opened back in 2002, there's a look at the home of the Patriots, Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today, we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the New England Patriots. The NFL season has hit high gear and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Walker to start the drive and he will lose yardage here back at the 23 yard line call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage second down this defense is a difficult one to prepare for one of the best in the league they'll come at you from all angles and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss first play of the drive goes the wrong way here's second and 12 They'll drop to throw. Open man is Denzel Mims. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down Seattle on a pickup of 13. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. Walker now on first and ten. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Matt Judon there to bring him down. This defense for the Patriots, they were terrific last week in the victory over Buffalo. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. Here's second and ten. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Christian Barmore breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind him and they get their first sack of the contest. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that will fall incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once, now they get in there and knock another one away. I think maybe that tucker rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder. Yes, indeed, that time lucky that the arm was going forward, incomplete pass. A good head down running on the return gets about 15 yards. And the Patriots take over. Now Lance on the bootleg, rolling to his right. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Second and ten. On the option right is Lance. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. 
The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. Pretty ideal right there. Keep it yourself, get the first down, and get the heck out of bounds. And knowing him, I believe he's thinking, I'd get a few more yards if I just lower my shoulder. But he also hears that second voice in his head. His head coach, or probably his agent, too, saying, get out of bounds, man. Don't do that. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. The Patriots at seven and two here on the year. Their head coach, he's got them believing in themselves. They've won seven of their last nine games now. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience display in that victory. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. You talk about this Seahawk defense. Yeah, they played well against the pass, currently ranked seventh in the NFL. Yeah, defending the pass hasn't been an issue for them. It's been stopping the run. And if they don't stop the run, they can't get back to their strength, which is guarding against the air attack. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Beringer on to punt for the Patriots. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And this one goes angling out of bounds. And it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. So that play, I mean, it was pretty well blown up from the start, and it results in a turnover. Yeah, and when you're running the option like that as a quarterback, you have so many different keys and reads to make that sometimes as you're making them, you're not protecting the ball the way you should, and it gets popped free. Let's go. A first down carry by Elliott. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. The slot man in motion right. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end of the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Here's Lance. Take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. His fourth rushing touchdown of the year, his fifth overall. And the Patriots take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So after the field goal, Riley back out as he'll send this one away. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Here's a second and five. 
Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Man open downfield. It's Metcalf. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. Trying the left side with Walker. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. This running game so important for them, and they know that it helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. Now a throw complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Just a gain of a couple there. And now two yards to go on third down. After one, seven nothing on the A Sports. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did... I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Second and six. To the right side, this is Walker. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. First down Seattle on a pickup of 13. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Second down from the eight. They can get a first down by reaching the five. They'll look to throw here. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. And the red zone precision is the watchword. If the throw is a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now back to throw. And that is incomplete. And the pressure there on third down, forcing the air and pass. Fourth down coming up. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Myers' kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. 
And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, Try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. And Lance now to throw. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 22 yards there, a first down. Inside give to Elliott. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Second and seven. Here's Lance to throw it. On the right side open is Gesicki. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. Off of play action, and here's Lance. They'll roll him out right toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield. They're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Ready? Throwing now is Lance. And this one's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. And Lance going to throw. Flushed out right. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Trey Lance with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots are able to add on to that lead. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Now Ryland now following the touchdown. Back out to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. Second quarter action with 159 remaining. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. 
It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Back to throw. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And the Seahawks first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Give to Walker on the read option. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Marte Mapu, the one to bring him down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Man in motion left. That's Smith and Jigba. And they'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. Down inside the 10. And all the way down to the 5. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll set up a throw. Being checked. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. It's their quarterback as the first half is winding down. And the Seahawks are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that makes it a 14-10 ball game. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Yeah, the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for, a really good change of pace back. Ready? And they faked the handoff. Now Lance. Now a short one to Gesicki. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further.
New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Lance looking to throw it. Flush to his right. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. Give him two yards on that play, and that's going to make it fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter, standing just outside his own goal line. This is brought in at the 21. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, OK, the first half. He's got it at the 15. It's a big play there for Seattle. 62 yards. didn't take long one play and we're already looking at a first and goal situation on the toss to Chardonnay and there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield that's going to go as a loss of one on first down I think this running game or should I say lack of one is making this defense look better than what they really are On second down, it's Walker. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. And oh boy, nobody wants to see this. That's the running back, Kenneth Walker, who appears to be injured. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. They'll look to throw on third and goal. stand there defensively a huge sack on third down and that's going to force him into a field goal attempt Myers kick is good and the lead is down to one now at 14 13 so the three points there and CD that helps him inch a bit closer yeah partner when you're losing any points you see go on the board in your favor you're happy to take them well, from deep in the end zone he's going to bring this out and they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Pats at the line, ready to go. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And Lance's throw taken in by Thornton. 
They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take him the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. Really well run route. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. And the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. That one will send him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. Like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Right, right. Black shot. Claude Ray. Now Lance. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown. Chase Claypool with touchdown number eight on the year. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Extra point by Ryland. Nothing good. And the lead is up to eight. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. They had tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there in four yards. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. here as he's taken down multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss this rookie was already being tested as he tries to lead a comeback here in the second half now he's got to get some momentum back after that sack and a big loss they'll set up to throw oh that's into a sea of bodies and it's intercepted it's Kyler Duggar who picks it and they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Watch out now. 52. Ready. On the counter, Elliott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Patriots will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And the lead is up to 15 now. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So 
frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And they'll come up second and seven. He'll look to throw. They'll fire one downfield for Fan. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got them this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. This offense so far on third down, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and seven. They'll drop to throw. Able to connect with Mims. And he will have the first down, but he winds up paying for it pretty good. Nine yards that time. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. They'll look to throw now on first down. They'll set up a screen to Charbonnet. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Well, plays like that, Charles, no doubt, they're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well, but it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about, and that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They've got the lead, and what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it, and he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Up the middle, here's Elliott. able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 68 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Elliott is into the end zone. Touchdown, New England. Riling on for the extra point. Now he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Riley now following the touchdown. Back out to kick it away. This will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Come on, come on. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. A pass the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. And this one drops incomplete, but I think the defense jumped. 
And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. They're going to look to throw. He'll fire one downfield for Fant. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And that's going to be caught downfield by Fan. Uh, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A big pickup of 38. 38 yards on the play. And the Seahawks first down. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Looked like they were set up defensively in a zone coverage, but somehow they found a seam because that receiver, all alone by right, that should have been a touchdown, but somehow this ball's overthrown. Now a second and ten. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. Third down and 13. He'll drop to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Seahawks go for it but can't convert. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on down is the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. Here we go. Now a second and six. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. 82 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. On the set. And they'll go on the ground. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. 
It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down, Elliott. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Third and four. And he's brought down short. Two yards there. Needed four. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. So not only do they get the fumble recovery on the punt, but now look at this field position. He almost took it the distance. And the ability to not just make the play, but turn it into something big, that's what coaches harp on all the time. How do we create big plays that'll change the game? And that may have been one that just did. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. This was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the...